I've seen it so many times, like, like a, a teenage Muslim girl just skateboarding, suddenly that's her breaking the stereotype. When we're just doing a mundane activity that lowers the bar for us so much, we always shouldn't feel the need to make art in the intention to break boundaries because we have the right to be anyways and we should take ownership of that right rather than taking a step back and then proving yourself first. Yeah, so no, we shouldn't feel the pressure. I don't feel the pressure anymore to uh, recreate that narrative of, hey, I'm not repressed. Hi, I'm Janna Hussein. I'm a artist and I'm currently studying at Central St. Martin. I make loads of different types of art. <laughs> so it started off as a hobby. And then when I got into secondary school in GCSE time, it became so much more important to me. And then when I got into A-levels, that's when it's like, boom, it hit me like, yes, I want to be an artist. So when I applied to Central St. Martin, at first I was being really self-depreciating, like, oh, I'm only going to get in because they need a hijabi brown woman to be in their unis. And it was like such a shit mindset to have about yourself. We sometimes fall into this place where we stereotype ourselves or make ourselves token as a way of validating that self-doubt. I was involved in another exhibition called The Beauty of Being British Asian, seeing people explore the similar thing which was being part of a dual identity and being from two places and having two places of influence on one person it was just amazing. That was posted by Burnt Royalty magazine. Through that I had the opportunity to, to show at the late tape. But yeah that was also really overwhelming just to have my work shown at the tape written and when I still don't have any of my work online yet. I haven't taken part in these platforms, so for example, Mahro, FNC, Burnt Royalty Magazine. It just brings a lot of like-minded people into one space, and when you have a lot of like-minded people in one space, it like, provides a lot of strength in what you believe in and what you want to do. The creative industry is all still very Eurocentric, and there is progress being made, but we shouldn't have to wait for that progress to happen. We're in a position where our art isn't censored, but we should go out and do shit. Like, we have the means to do it, so why not? Like, we shouldn't wait around. And even if you do wait around, it's like, hey, you can have a piece of our cake, when what's the point? You can make your own friggin' cake, you know? If we have more people of colour in the art world, we're more likely to be represented in the things we see, in the art forms that we see on TV, in magazines. We can't wait around expecting white industries to represent us because one they probably don't know how to represent us too when they do they somehow still mess it up so by bringing more people in and recreating our own platforms we can put our own things out there there's so much a person can gain from just seeing themselves represented for instance when I came to art school and I saw two other hijabis just seeing that was like wow like yes I'm not the only one that's like a small example of how it feels to be represented so if you have a platform like FNC they very much do validate those and remove those self-doubts and I know there's a lot of fearlessness of fierceness in Muslim women. I mean, I, I hope to see just taking ownership of that and seeing that being fierce and being fearless isn't compromising your modesty and feeling that being fierce by being outspoken, it doesn't compromise it and understanding that modesty is dependent and personal for each Muslim woman. So by realizing that it can also build a strong sense of sisterhood as well. If you don't recognize the level of modesty in one woman can be different to the level of modesty in another woman, you are homogenizing a whole experience. So by recognizing that modesty is basically subjective as well, I feel that's really important as well. Yeah.